The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, we're up 25 on the S&P, up 81 on the Dow. NASDAQ's up 8, although it was much higher earlier. Uh, crude oil's down 22 cents. Uh, we still have this kind of, uh, eh, what would you call it, dark uh, cloud following us. Uh, no silver lining uh, seen on that cloud, but everybody's willing to sell into just about anything. Uh, we went long yesterday in the uh, daily newsletter, the SMHs. Uh, we bought uh, the two o, or excuse me, the three o five calls, uh, and exited them earlier today. Uh, got in in the low fours, uh, out in the high nines or low tens. So uh, over a hundred percent bounce in those. Uh, I ski daddled um, a bit this morning. I thought uh, great. It, if anybody uh, listened to Larry's show yesterday about taking money when you can find it. And uh, that was kind of weighing on my mind this morning when I was doing the newsletter. Uh, but it did pretty much exactly what I thought. We were uh, in the SMH uh, calls, and I thought it would go to about 315. And it did, and we got out. So uh, out by the hair of our chinny-chin-chins, we took our money and we ran. And, uh eh. Now we're going to see what's happening. I was thinking uh, that maybe the market would have held it up a little bit better. We can see whether or not we get that to the close. But um, yeah, I'm more of the thought here that we consolidate uh, probably around 4,600, maybe a little higher into Friday. Uh, the Fed keeps on doing the same thing, uh, which is throw more money at the market. Um, Although we were down uh, earlier in the TLT. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Um, the uh, cash continues to go into it from the Fed. And generally, uh, it would come out and then go into the, uh, into the uh, market. So kind of giving you a little heads up here that all's not right. Um, we have a lot of movement in the VIX. Everybody thought it was over yet again this morning, only see it. It's not. Uh, but uh, you got kind of an almost an engulfing counter uh, uh, candle in the TLT today. And that's telling you a little something. But at the same time, there isn't a whole lot of volume. Um, I had a request. And of course, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, there we go. And we'll get our uh, get my camera fixed uh, during the uh, break. It is not on today. Uh, it says it's being used by somebody. I'm the only one here. I don't know how it could be that done. Um, Pat asks, uh, where, how do you see the money f uh, injecting into the markets? Well, you see it in the TLT. But uh, I also have somebody that uh, we've talked about before, who I only refer to as Jaded Bear, uh, that has not been wrong in the past about telling me where the cash is coming from. Uh, and uh, the TLT tells you that there's money going in. Question is, where is it coming from? And, uh, you know, until the Fed actually allows us to audit their books, uh, we're not going to know for sure, but. We kind of know. We kind of know that there isn't just money uh, falling off trees. Um, and they keep on saying they're going to to uh, taper. But uh, I, they, from everything I can see and look uh, for, 
I do uh, think that they put more money in this market uh, in the last week than they ever have. So they may be saying one thing and uh, doing another. Okay. Um, question about why we pulled back. And I think uh, the, well, somebody uh, said that they actually found a case of the Omicron Perseus uh, 8 virus. Uh or as I like to call it, the Fauci virus. Uh, but we uh, we shall see. But uh, I think that's kind of what everybody was worried about. Uh, but uh, again, I think yeah, in a week or so, we're probably going to see that uh, there's not a lot of change. Uh, from what I've read out here, that they were trying to make a big deal out, of, out about it. It kind of ended up being more like the uh, producers, if you ever saw the movie, not the second one, I'm talking about the Zero, uh, uh, Mustel uh, version with, uh, what was it, uh, oh, what's the name, made a ton of movies, Young Frankenstein, what was his name, I'll think of it in a minute, um, oh, what was it, I want to say Jonathan Winters, but I know that's not it. He was in Young Frankenstein, a bunch of other movies. Hey, someone will say something. No, not not Nathan, not that movie. That's the one I, I thought was okay, but not as good as the 1969 producers with Zero Mostel and someone will say somebody. Uh, he was in so many. Well, Young Frankenstein. Uh, not Edgar Winters. <laughs> That's as somebody else, but uh, well, I'll think of it in a minute here. Uh what was that, Young? Gonna drive me nuts now. Frank Einstein cast. Gene Wilder. I should have known that. Uh, da, 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 da. I thought about it. No, Gene Wilder. Um, but, uh, yeah, everybody's talking about the uh, Robert Kennedy book. Uh, highly recommend reading it. Uh, there are uh, uh, all the sources uh, in that book. Um, but anyway, back to uh, the TLT and, uh, and the rest out here. Kind of get the idea this is kind of was the, kind of the producers. They wanted to get everybody scared so they wouldn't do much. But they really don't know anything yet. So it's kind of like saying, well, we had a bunch of sharks. We saw a new shark. The new shark looked worse than the old shark. But you know what? We don't really know that shark yet. We haven't tested it, that shark yet. We haven't found out if that shark has any teeth, but we're going to scream a bit. So every kind of little thing, we're on tenter hooks. As I said yesterday, you get into this kind of, uh, I don't know, what, uh, funk. Uh, that I t talked about as the uh, ham sandwich phenomena. And that is every bag is a bomb uh, from uh, 2000, right after 2000, or 9 11. Everybody was looking everywhere and finding stuff that didn't exist. And I, I think maybe we're just a little sensitive right now. But uh, the, that didn't change uh, the way people trade in the market. It does mean what will eventually happen. We'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, I'm getting everything back up after rebooting, and it will be all set in just a second. I should be back in the den right now, so we should all be getting ready to go. Uh, While well, I get everything else done here, let's do this, which is... Uh, a little history, and then we'll move on as I get everything else loaded up as it uh, comes up. But uh, see what I have everything here? I think I do. So let's get back to that. A uh, little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1999, the domain name business.com sells for $7.5 million at the time. It's the most expensive domain name sold in history. Still ranks in the top 10 of most expensive domain names. And, uh, of course, uh, we continue to see um, that go on. In fact, we had one sell for a little bit more just uh, not too long ago. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but the biggest ones of all time, Voice.com at $30 million. Uh, just a couple of years ago, 360.com, 17 million, sex.com, 13 million, fund.com, 12 million, hotels.com, 11, tesla.com, 11 million shares, porno.com, not surprisingly, 8.8, .8, and fb.com at 8.8 .8 million also. So uh, they continue to be um, the biggest trading cards of all time. And, of course, uh, people just get more creative with coming out with more names. But uh, on this day in 1999, what did we have? The dot-com bomb getting ready to explode all over the interweb, which I contend 20 years later is still just a fad. Okay. Um, yeah, we're down a little bit more. Uh, up 15 still. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking that we do see a little bit more action uh, on the consolidation side, but we'll see. But uh, expect these uh, huge whips. 
uh, in, especially in a bearish market, uh, these things tend to come out of uh, the woodwork. Uh, S H. Uh, what is it? Uh, S M H. Wanted to take a look at real quick. Um, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. By the way. Um, yeah, you're still back above even with this little hammer candle we have here today, but I'm thinking more of consolidation through Friday. I don't see a lot uh, happening. But maybe I could be wrong by the end of the day here. Well, I've made my money, so we'll look at that. But yeah, for all, for most part, these things are still not doing as little better. Maybe we're beating out a bottom. Um, but uh, we shall see. I uh, wanted to did have another email already. Um, uh, um, Really weak on an ad put positions for a total over 28 different stocks uh, several months out. Yeah. I, I personally, I suspect we're going to find some kind of low before Christmas in this range right here. And it would probably tick back up uh, to the end of the uh, year. And we'll see the big selling if there's going to be some probably in January. Uh, da, 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 okay, we got that. We got that. Uh, da, 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 okay, answer that question. Uh, okay, how do you use Teams? Do okay. Uh, first question is of the day is to run through and see if we see any big damage uh, yet in the uh, Fang stocks. Uh, Microsoft, uh, eh, not great, but you only have had about half the volume. You are going to close uh, back underneath the 3x3. Three three. You really, other than yesterday, didn't have a whole lot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, not the end of the world today if we hang up here a little bit better. I wouldn't be surprised if we closed at 4,600 on the S&P today. I just think maybe everybody's getting short. Um, oh, I have another question here that I did want to get to. And almost forgot about. And the question was, uh, what did I see out here that made me want to uh, think we were going to have a big bounce today? And there were a few things, but I did uh, talk about them in my newsletter this morning. Uh, but generally, when you're going to find some kind of low, you're going to find a lot of people shorting. And this is one of the tables I have in every edition of uh, the uh, power, uh, of the uh, path of least resistance, and if you look at that center column right here under the shorts, uh, you know if you get two or two point one billion shares shorted in a day, that's a whole lot. Um, we had a very significant uh, move higher in the short uh, part of the market, and that's just in equity shares. Uh, one of the other things that we had, too, which always uh, looks like you're at least going to have a short-term reversal, is the change in the amount of people uh, trading in the dark pool. That generally connotes that you have a lot of folks uh, actually uh, buying or selling uh, in the retail market and not on the street itself. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with dark pools, they're just ways of trading. Uh, that high-frequency traders can't get to or manipulate. And a lot of times that volume comes in later. Uh, but what I'm looking at here was the last couple of days where we've gone, you know, 35%, 36%. Uh, that's kind of even 34%. That's kind of standard stuff on a daily basis. And it shows us how much interest uh, that we have from the guys that are big on the street compared to those uh, trading. But, the, you know, on... Um, on Monday, or excuse me, on what was that been? Yeah, on Friday, uh, we had a huge percentage of those folks uh, that were uh, trading uh, retail uh, were the sellers. Uh, yesterday, um, we had kind of a little bit of, uh, I mean, uh, Monday, you had kind of a, a, a bounce back. Uh, and, but uh, yesterday, again, you had kind of not as bad. But what I'm saying is that you're kind of seeing these things hammer around on the low side of the dark pool. And that tells you that retail traders are really getting involved. And that's generally 
when they wait to get involved is generally a good time to buy. That's one part of it. Uh, two is uh, the absolute blowout volume yesterday, which generally leads to at, at the at generally at the worst a uh, a selling climax. Now maybe we get it retested once again, but my thought is generally when you get this much volume, it takes two or three weeks to come back and get retested again. Now it is a high volume low. But when you have a bunch of volume like that, instant really rejects it, means that you're not quite ready to go blow out those lows quite yet. I would suggest that you probably are waiting for some kind of push higher. And then, maybe first of the year, uh, we're going to see more destruction in the market. I'm going to wait till then. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. I have a question about uh, why I think we're coming back to 4,600 on the S&P, which we're kind of close back here. And that is that We've had a, a push to the downside that failed. We've had a push to the upside that failed. Generally, what you get after a couple of buying and selling climaxes is everybody kind of goes to their own corner. and You get some sideways action. So uh, I suspect that we have kind of a low end of the market that if you sold this morning, you probably got the lion's share of the bounce 
of the next couple of days. But still, I think there's probably a little bit of a bullish bias all the way into Christmas. I don't think that we blow out uh, the highs between now and then. But I do think that the same thing that happens every year, just about, and that is everybody gets short going into Christmas and you don't get much action. Um, the volume starts to decline starting in about a week. Not so much, but a little. By the 15th, it starts declining noticeably. And by the 23rd, it's vapor. And the worst thing you can generally be is short in a quiet market. And that's why those old chestnuts that have been around forever uh, continue to be there. And that is uh, don't be short a quiet market. So I think if you're going to be short, you probably want to have some short uh, horizons going forward. I was talking about some of the other reasons why I thought that we were due for a bounce, and that is the uh, VIX put call ratio uh, did finally pop back up. We didn't have a lot of shorts when the market was going down. Again, people start getting a little uh, froggy uh, with uh, throwing the Hail Mary and the VIX puts, those are all out of the monies. So they're expecting a big move opposed uh, to the equities, which is a small move. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's more likely that we're probably going to see some sideways action. Um, we see the usual suspects. Uh, but even yesterday, why uh, advanced micro devices led once again in the most hated and shorted stocks in the market. Um, Modern era kind of jumped up there, too. So eh, just keep a look at that. But, uh, you know, people keep going after NVIDIA and AMD and uh, missed a lot of stocks that probably didn't do as well. Even Apple is getting back on the list of the most hated and shorted stocks. Even the uh, Facebook, uh, the Metamucil company, um, is actually starting to get on that list a bit, too. But... Uh, you know, there's a lot out here that says that uh, uh, even in a down market, the market's probably going higher three-fourths of the time. It just doesn't go that much higher. It's still going up. So you get a couple of days where it's up five points, five points, five points, and then down 40. So there is that kind of two steps forward, one step back, uh, even in a bear market. And uh, you got to be able to sit on your hands a lot, uh, which not a lot of people can do. Uh, 877-927-6648. Give me a ring. I look forward to your call. Uh, okay. I got that. Okay. Got a couple more emails. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, question on MCHP. Um, a lot of these stocks look like they're going to break out. Um, one of the reasons I picked up the SMHs yesterday was uh, AMAT was uh, saying that the supply chain is starting to turn around in Taiwan. So that's one of the reasons, uh, besides looking at the charts and everything, I thought that they'd have a fairly good day today. Uh, you did try to break out in this. Of course, the big winner, winner chicken dinner is Amberilla. Uh, today uh, and of course they make uh, chips for uh, cameras uh, let's see what they're doing right now uh, up 19 percent they were up 25 percent earlier but up 20 percent I don't think anybody would say anything wrong uh, along that range uh, a solid breakout there uh, and of course we still see uh, Apple holding up fairly strongly so that whole sector uh, for uh, smartphones, as I said, are kind of the perfect gift and sales item for Christmas because they can pile them on a 747, which is the bulk of those big uh, carriers. There's some 777s and stuff, but uh, the big freight carriers use all the old retired 747s because uh, they can just be filled to the rafters uh, and are quite still economical. They update them and everything else too but you know if you can get something on that sells for 1500 bucks 
uh, for uh, $10 shipping to the U.S. right now, you can get it over here. If it's waiting on the docks down at Long Beach, problematic. Uh, I've said it's going to be a, a smartphone Christmas in, in kind of in jest, but not that badly. They can build those things and get them here in a hurry if they're needed. And like I said, there's kind of the first kind of log jam is starting. It's kind of like when the traffic starts to pick up in rush hour and you go, I think I can, I think I can. And then it slows down a little bit and then it speeds up a little bit and it slows down, speeds up. And then eventually you're out into the suburbs and you're, uh, doing a, a kindly 75 miles an hour, which is kind of the lowest speed available down here in Florida. Uh, unless, of course, uh, you have both hands on the wheel and blue hair, and that's all they can see from behind is two hands on the steering wheel and some blue hair sticking up. That's always a good sign that you need to watch out down here on the Florida roads. But uh, I do digress. Anyway, uh, you don't have a ton of volume out here. So you could get a signal tomorrow if this gaps back down. But I, my guess is it's probably going to hold up through Christmas. Um, so anything around that sector uh, is probably going to look uh, much better. Ambrella, of course, uh, as we said, uh, does do a, a lot of that. And, you know, smartphones, anything small, uh, cameras, uh, anything high dollar, and uh, low weight and low size is probably fairly good through Christmas. Uh, to, 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 and we were going to look at your specific stock. If I can find the uh, thing here. MCHP. Let's go back to that one right now. Okay. Get the profile up here. Okay. Uh, make sure I don't have anything. Okay. Now, this sells semiconductors for various embedded control applications in the Americas. The company offers general purpose 8 bit, 16, and 32 bit microcontrollers. Uh, if you don't know what a microcontroller is, think about a chip specifically meant to move machines and not uh, put anything out on a screen that people te uh, touch, test. Uh, it's kind of one of those black boxes that just runs stuff back in the background. Um, that's what these guys make as a microcontrollers. They sell for, you know, five, ten bucks or something, uh, but can control a lot and a very good sequence. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. back got a lot more engineers asking if the ac is broken i thought that i could leave the doors open today but i'm gonna have to turn the air conditioning on down here in florida again i know people are uh, freezing up north but uh we're sweating down here in florida but uh oh the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune uh question uh from pete about marathon oil uh you are coming back down uh to the uh, previous low and that is the November 16th low. That's 1501. Uh, you had some decent volume there with uh, 21 million shares. Uh, coming back today on 14, so maybe you're going to get kind of close. But as, as long as foreign travel uh, continues to be uh, mitigated uh, by policy, uh, it's tough to see a lot of fuel that was coming online uh, to handle more uh, trips. Uh, is not going to be muted somewhat. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of uh, of trying to go short here. Uh, I also think that, uh, as we've talked about in the den over the last few days, that there's probably, and it's not, maybe not be over, there may be a lot of companies having to sell to cover uh, margins they had uh, in long, being long uh, crude and natural gas. Uh, just figuring it was going to go to the moon. It certainly looked like it was going to 100. Uh, I wasn't long it. Um, but uh, you know what? When these things unravel, there's almost always a handful of people that get caught with their hands at the cookie jar. I haven't heard about it. Generally, uh, the people on the exchanges want to quell that so there isn't a run. Uh, but uh, generally, you find out you know, probably next Monday, We'll see some kind of uh, thing in the paper about, you know, such and such blew up uh, their hedge fund on being long crude. Um, you know, Goldman Sachs had a, a huge position in it. There's always that kind of stuff that happens. But uh, you always get the news three, four, five days after the big thing. So what you're looking for is some kind of sign that we have a, a low out here and that any fund that has to sell and the sad thing is that a lot of the times you can't sell what you need to sell so you sell the thing that you can that you uh, would like to keep and that happens uh, on wall street so many times it's silly but i have a feeling a lot of people uh, will probably be looking at uh, these finding lows and uh, eh, probably as soon as the dust settles probably think eh like I said, I don't. I think this is a lot more of the producers uh, than anything else. We'll have to wait and see because no one really knows. But I think that they uh, were a little bit too successful on uh, coming to the end of the world prognostications, uh, and uh, we'll probably, like I said, maybe in a week, maybe less. Maybe we'll find out that uh, it's not any different than what we'd seen over the last uh, year and a half or two years. Uh, da -da 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 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, even I deserve respect. That's an interesting email. Uh, okay, what else do we have here? Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. I continue to think that, uh, let's take a look at it here. Eh, I think we by the end of the day, yeah, 4,600. It's probably a good number. Uh, again, um, you know, we uh, we got options expiration really on the 17th. That whole cycle doesn't start from a week till now. So I'm not going to see much going on then. But what I see now uh, pretty much is uh, a lot of people looking for narrowly higher prices uh, going into that 17th uh, week before Christmas. So, um, you know, Friday gives us uh, one, two, three. Yeah, uh, 14 days till expiration. It's the third Friday of the month. So that gives us 16 days. Uh, not sure how many tra uh, trade days out of that. Maybe four less than that. Um, and that is going to be it. When you talk about the last big uh, hurrah for the markets, you need to start planning uh, out your uh, your uh, your your battle plans uh, into knowing that by 17th, there isn't a whole lot going on. Uh, if anybody's going to sell, if we're going to have a sell off, that's probably over uh, by then. And at worst, generally, you look at flat markets at best, maybe shorts. If everybody keeps piling on, uh, they go up to the 31st. That's why you've seen so many uh, big movements on. Uh, January 2nd and 3rd when you go back and look at the charts because everybody seems to get on one side of the market and it generally takes the other side uh, fairly quickly. Of course, uh, there was a January 2nd of 2000 with Qualcomm is probably one of the best examples of everybody on one side all thinking they're going to do the same thing, which brings me back to Warren Buffett and his uh, idea that uh, traders uh, tend to be uh, everybody uh, at the Cinderella ball, all thinking they're going to leave at midnight. But uh, guess what? The clock doesn't work in the ballroom. So when the uh, bell starts ringing, everybody wants to get out at once. And that don't work. We've seen that in the last week or two. 877-927-6648. Okay. Okay, what else do we have? A uh, question on Dollar General from Mike, DG. We shall look at that. Um, nice move. Um, I have to say that I've gone to a couple of them trying to get Christmas decorations. Uh, and you know what? They've got boxes and boxes now of stuff finally showing up. Uh, granted, uh, a month late. Uh, but uh, they don't even have time to unbox it. In fact, a lot of stuff was just sitting there in boxes. I had to go back later to pick it up. But uh, it was interesting to see that they do have some stuff, even at a dollar. I don't know how much money they make on that stuff. But anyway, they had a ton of stuff there. So it is starting to show back up. Uh, but uh, it still continues to be one of those stores that in the worst of lockdowns is going to be probably the store that's open. And that's a hard sell to say this thing's going lower. Uh, in fact, the worse things get, probably the better Dollar General will do. Uh, like I said, even then, though, Christmas time, everything else, they're your go-to place to get your milk and all your other stuff, get in and out in a hurry. Uh, but uh, the dollar stores, uh, Dollar General, Dollar this, Dollar that, even though they're a dollar and a quarter now, tend to be... Um, at least around here, heavily trafficked. So I'm not in the uh, scheme of things of thinking this is where you want to focus on uh, stuff going south. Um, Target, uh, Walmart all had bigger problems. And like I said, uh, with, a, uh, with a, a smartphone Christmas, Target, Walmart, they don't have a lot of these big, uh, heavy things in the stores. They're pretty vacant. I don't think they're going to be doing any good.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, we're getting ready to wrap up the end of the day and... I think we can start seeing uh, some themes develop here. Uh, as I said earlier in the day, Applied Materials uh, said that uh, they were getting a, a bit ahead of uh, the curve uh, for the supply chain. Uh, they're holding up fairly well today back into this gap uh, that they went down on, mostly because they said there was a problem with supply chain. Um, since they are the company that makes uh, a lot of the products that make chips, uh, it's good to see them back on the, on the horse and doing well. That means that eventually that stuff will trickle down uh, to the actual producers of these chips. But uh, good day with a decent volume, the SMHs. Uh, let's see what they're at here. Uh, yeah, hold it up. Uh, 310, um, so still up almost 2% uh, on those. I don't, like I said, I maybe the s and is a little weaker than the rest, but uh, I'm kind of looking for a little buying before the end of the day. Some consolidation through Friday. I think uh, as far as the big Roman candles in the week, we're probably looking more at a trending market as soon as we get this consolidation over. As I said, uh, that starts probably next week. Fund buying, of course, runs through Friday. 
So we're probably going to continue to see little spits and spurts of buying, but probably nothing like we saw this morning. Um, we had the uh, we had the buying climax or the selling climax, and now the buying climax. And generally, now we're going to probably float around in limbo for a couple of days. So uh, keep those stops tight because you never know what's going to happen. The headline. Hang on for Tom O'Brien. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.